I'm Richard Southern in the 680 Newsroom. Good evening. Big Alcohol wants to own Canada's cannabis sector. Constellation Brands, one of the biggest alcohol producers in the world out of the U.S., uh, makers of uh, Corona Beer, Robert Mondavi Wine, they're spending $5 billion to acquire a 38% stake in Canopy Growth, Canada's largest pot producer based right here in Ontario. And the idea is that they're going to make uh, weed-infused wine and beer. Greg Taylor is Portfolio Manager, Logic Asset Management. It's a big story because I don't think smoking is really going to take off for cannabis. So cannabis consumption to really hit it globally is going to be in a different form. And I think beverage is really where I think a lot of the development is going to be done. Uh, there's a lot of evidence that uh, Denver beer sales are down 10 to 15 percent year over year as soon as they started legalizing marijuana. And I think globally the, the beer industry is terrified about this. So I think all the big uh, beer and beverage alcohol companies are looking at the Canadian marijuana space as an area where they can come up, do some R&D, and try and figure out how they can combine their products with cannabis to trade the next big big product. We saw canopy growth stock way up today. This really shows that big industry in the U.S. is now comfortable investing in the cannabis sector in Canada with legalization just uh, two months away. We haven't heard yet from big tobacco. They could be interested, and we certainly haven't heard from big pharma. They could be interested in getting in on this as well. Cannabis could be an alternative to opioids. So a lot going on here. We're going to continue to follow this one. Got another big story about a big roller coaster. Wonderland is getting a new ride. It's going to open next year, and I want to show it to you. This is quite something. It's called the Yukon Striker, and it's going to bring 28 people at a time up some 230 feet in the air. And what's it going to do? It's going to dangle them with no floor on the car. It's going to dangle them right over the edge holding the motionless for three seconds before, yeah, your dizzying plunge straight down, 90 degrees down, into an underwater tunnel that they built. This is the water by the vortex. So it's going to go right through the vortex underneath the water. This is going to be the uh, fastest, longest, tallest, so-called drop coaster in the world. And uh, it comes as uh, a wonderland of its parent company. Uh, Cedar Fair looks to boost their bottom line. Cedar Fair stock is down 18% on the year. Wonderland wouldn't tell me what they're paying for this, but they did say it costs significantly more than the $28 million that they shelled out for Leviathan, the last big coaster they built in 2012. This is not the only news out of Wonderland. They also said they're going to open through Christmas starting this year for Winterfest, they call it. And they're going to have a few rides open, not all of them, but you're going to be able to skate on the water in front of the mountain. There'll be a big tree lining ceremony. And as you can see, and it looks like what they got going down in the distillery, except uh, up in Vaughn at Wonderland could rival that distillery. Add to all this, the fact that Wonderland is going to open a hotel. They're teaming up with Hyatt Hotels. They're going to build a hotel right within the boundaries of the park. So a lot of news there. Got some news as well in on Twitter and the service suspending the account of far-right conspiracy theorist Alex Jones, but suspending him only for uh, a week. New York Times reports that uh, Jones tweeted a link to a video calling for supporters to get their battle rifles ready against the media. Facebook, Apple, YouTube, Spotify, they've all taken down Jones's content permanently. Finally, we have the uh, Girl Scouts out with a new cookie, and they're right on trend in the foodie world. Girl Scouts now with a gluten-free cookie, caramel chocolate chip, going to be available in uh, January 2019. In the 680 Newsroom, Richard Southern, City News.